Firefighters are battling the most destructive wildfire in the state of Colorado's history. It's killed two people and destroyed nearly 500 homes. So the question tonight, will more favorable weather help crews tame the massive fire? The Black Forest fire is now 55% contained, and no more homes or structures have been destroyed. The weather is also cooperating with sun and then rain. The weather is not creating those super dangerous conditions. Do you know at this point if your house is still there? No, I don't. 76-year-old Kenneth Little was one of hundreds of Colorado Springs residents looking for answers at this town hall meeting. He's received conflicting reports on whether his house is still standing. My life is in that house. I've got all of my memories, everything, and it's lost, I think. I don't know. Officials say they are making progress on damage assessments. Many residents are still displaced. <laughs> and pet shelters in Colorado Springs remain packed. This is one of three pet evacuation centers in the area. Veterinarians estimate it could be at least another week before they're all reunited with their owners. Hey, Mona. The Bissell family couldn't wait to pick up their two cats, Mona and Max. The family of eight voluntarily I'm left there, Tuesday, but now have the okay to return home. What was it like to have to leave your pets? Um, it was scary and also nervous, um, but it was fine with me because I knew they were safe. Mandatory evacuation orders have been lifted, but many residents are only allowed back home for a few short minutes just to inspect the damage. Bigachaban, CBS News, Colorado Springs. One other quick note here. A crew of 20 is now going lot by lot to determine if homes are destroyed or damaged. Many don't have mailboxes or numbers to help indicate what kind of structure might have been there before that fire.